Hey guys, it's David here. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to customize your iTerm2 terminal with ZSH and Power Level 10K. We're going to be turning your default terminal application into something that looks like this. You'll be able to see what directory you're in. You'll be able to see all the icons, colors, and also VCS, which is version control. We will also apply these new features into VS Code so that everything looks the same across all applications that have a terminal. All right, let's get started. The first thing that you want to do is install Homebrew. Go to brew.sh and then copy this command by pressing the clipboard button and then open up a terminal. Go to your terminal and paste the command and then press enter. Type in password and then press enter again. After you finish installing, copy these two commands. So copy this, paste, and then press enter. And also copy this command here. And then press enter. Confirm that you have brew installed by typing in brew help. There we go, we just installed brew. Now another thing that you're going to want to make sure that you have installed is git. So you could type in git help to see if that you have git. Most Macs by default come with git so you don't have to worry about this. Also install VS Code if that's going to be the main IDE that you're going to be using. The first thing that we need to do is install iTerm2. We can do this by typing in brew install dash dash cask iterm2 all of the commands that i'm using will be listed in the description down below you can also download iterm2 from the iterm2 websites by pressing download here but i like to do it through the terminal okay now that we have it installed open it up by pressing command spacebar and type in iterm.app open there we go here's iterm2 okay now that we have iterm installed we're going to be following this guide which will also be in the description so next step that we need to do is install oh my zsh copy this command and paste it into your terminal And as soon as that's finished, you will get a tilde symbol like so. We will now open up the zshrc config file using VS Code. So type in code forward slash zshrc. And here's our file. The first step that we need to do is change the theme from Robbie Russell to Agnoster. Save the file and then relaunch your terminal by first quitting it, pressing Command Q, and then reopen iTerm. Your iTerm terminal should now look like this. Instead of Agnoster, we're going to be using Power Level 10K. So to do that, copy this command and paste it into your terminal. What we're going to be doing is changing the ZSH theme to Power Level 10K. After Power Level 10K is finished installing, we can quit the terminal app by pressing Command Q and changing the ZSH theme to this right here, Power Level 10K. Press save and then open up iTerm again. We will now go through the Power Level 10K configuration wizard. Just follow along with me. We need to first install this font. Press yes. Okay, now it's telling us we need to restart iTerm2 again. So command Q and then relaunch the application again. All right, does this look like a diamond? Yes. Does this look like a lock? Yes. Does this look like a Debian logo? Yes. Yes. And here you can choose what style you want. 
I like rainbow, looks the prettiest. For the character set, we need to choose Unicode, show current time, um, no, we don't need this. For the separators, we're going to be using the angled one, but you can use whatever you want. The head, we're also going to use sharp. Prompt tails is also going to be flat. Prompt height, let's say one line. Prompt flow, we're going to say concise. Transient prompt, yes. Instant prompt mode, we'll say one verbose. Apply changes, yes. After we've done this, we're going to see the power level 10K in action. Now, another thing we could do is change the color theme here. So let's go to this link here. Go to flat colors, I term colors. And we need to copy the contents of this. We're going to create a new file. Let's say this file is going to be in our home directory. So we could say CD tilde. We're going to make a file here called dot flats colors dot I term colors. And it's going to be a hidden file with the period. Press enter. Copy this. Paste. Save. And then go into I term to preferences. Go to profiles. Colors color presets and then you want to select import go to where we save this since it's a hidden file we need to press command shift period to show the hidden files where is it flats colors i term colors and then we can select it down here now we get a better theme we're now going to install auto suggestions so that we get uh, suggestions inside of the terminal Go to this link. We need to first clone this repository. Paste that command in. And then we need to go to zshrc. So we can do code forward slash dot zshrc. Open that up. And we need to go to plugins and add in ZSH auto suggestions. So look for plugins here. Fix this. And then paste that in there. Save. And now we should get the auto suggestions. But to do that, we need a new terminal session. So let's close this. I term again. And now when we type a command, we're going to get auto completion like so that's pretty useful another thing that's pretty important is to enable word jumps and word deletion aka natural selection so right now let's say we had a couple of commands like gets blah 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 and we need to move between these uh, different words you can't press alt and go back and forth like this you're going to get some kind of character to enable this, we need to go to iTerm, Preferences, Profiles, Keys, Presets, Natural Text Editing, and then it's going to start working in. So go back into your Preferences, Profiles, Keys, Natural Text Editing, right here. And now it should be working properly. So now if we had a bunch of commands, we can move between them like so without getting those weird symbols. Another thing that's useful is to have syntax highlighting. We can install this using this brew command. And then after we've installed it, we need to add this line to dot zshrc. But let's see if it first works. Okay, so that doesn't work. We're going to use this command right here. 
now it's working. So copy this, ZSHRC, and then we can paste that in here. This is going to be for auto, for syntax highlighting. The last thing that we're going to do is make sure that Visual Studio Code is using the same terminal as everywhere else. Let's go into VS Code. Here we are. What we need to do is go to Preferences by pressing Command, Comma, and then type in Settings.json, and then click on Edit in Settings.json. Copy this here. comma, paste that in, but we need to change this to Meslo LGSNF. Save this and then we can open up a terminal. And now everything looks identical as in iTerm. All right, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys found it useful, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be posting more videos in the future. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Goodbye now.